hello again uh, it's John back again with another in my Lightroom tutorial series um, I was asked the other day about what is the difference between clarity and sharpening so I thought I'd put together um, a short uh, video to show you what the difference is so this is a photograph um, of a gatehouse I'm just going to do some basic very basic development on this um, I can do it automatically because what I want to do is focus on the difference between clarity and sharpening. So what clarity does is it uh, applies contrast to the midtones of a photograph. Now the midtones are indicated basically in this area of the histogram. So let's have a look and see what clarity does. If I push clarity all the way up as far as it goes, you can see what the effect is, is done. It looks as though it's made uh, all the stonework and the brickwork in the buildings um, a bit sharper, which indeed it has, because that's really what sharpening is doing. It's uh, increasing the contrast between edges of, of um, the, the different parts of the, the image. If we push clarity the other way, well, you can see it's actually gone quite soft. So when you would push it the other way is if you're doing a photograph with, uh, say, mist in it, or maybe you've got a photograph of a person and you're trying to hide some of the, the blemishes in the skin, then you might want to push clarity down the other way. So that's what clarity does. I'm going to push this back up again so we can see um, this is quite extreme. But I'm going to do the same thing then with sharpening and we can see what that does. Oh, before I do that, it's also worth pointing out that what clarity doesn't do is it won't do anything to enhance noise that's in the photo, uh, which is one benefit of it. But here's the same photograph. Again, we'll just click on auto. And this time I'm going to go to the detail panel and we'll look at sharpening. Now with sharpening, you can only make the contrast between the edges or increase the contrast between the edges of the different parts. Um, you can never decrease it like you can with clarity. So you can never make a photograph softer. You can only make it sharper. But the downside to sharpening is it will also sharpen noise. Let's have a look at sharpening. I'm going to push the amount right up as far as it goes. Now, hopefully you can see that it's not quite as um, crunchy as as doing clarity but what it would also have done is it would have increased the noise if you look in the, the roof here so this is the sharpening photo this is the um, the clarity and you can see there's no nowhere near as much noise in clarity as there is in sharpening but the other thing with sharpening is I can actually mask areas out so again if I hold down the alt key and we can mask um, the areas so all the areas which are going black and not being sharpened and areas which are white are so we just push the, the masking right up and then we zoom back in on here hopefully we can see we've actually reduced a bit of the noise but we've also got other things that we can do um, it's, this is quite an art uh, art is perhaps the wrong word it's um, there's a bit of experience which comes in on this when you start playing around with the radius and detail sliders. Now with clarity, I only had the one slider that I could adjust, but I can also adjust things like the radius. Now what the radius is doing is it's defining the area of contrast on each side of an edge. So if, if I have, in this case, the radius is one, what it's doing is it's enhancing the contrast up to one pixel on either side of the edge. And if we make it bigger, uh, we can go up to three. So it's doing three pixels on either, si either side of the edge. We can go down to a half. So the area of contrast is only one pixel wide because it's doing half on each side. Let's zoom out again. We'll probably see what the effect of that is a little bit better. Um, it is actually quite subtle on this photo, but um, if you watch in this area here on the brickwork, as I move this backwards and forwards, hopefully you can just see on the video, there's some very subtle changes. 
I'm going to zoom in again because I'm also going to then look at detail. If I push detail right up, well, you can see that it's actually um, what it's actually doing is it's it's increasing the number of edges that uh, will be sharpened. So you can see that it's got a pretty catastrophic effect on on this photo. And again, if I take it down, then it's going to make it it's going to remove edges out of the image. These are two sliders that really you need to play around with on your photograph to discover which is the um, the best value to use. Personally, I don't very often adjust those. I tend to leave detail as it is and um, radius as it is because I think those are pretty good defaults uh, supplied by Adobe. But I know some people will push that down and they might push radius up or they might bring radius down and push detail up depending on what they're trying to do. But just be aware that sharpening and playing around with these two sliders can increase noise in the photo. Now you can always mask the noise out with noise reduction uh, of which we have two types here. Now if I go in onto this, let me just recess all of this lot and we'll push sharpening all the way up. Um, now you can see we've got all these little, well you may be able to see hopefully on the video, we've got these little dots that look, look a bit um, a bit like film grain. Well this is luminescence noise and if I push the luminescence slider all the way up it gets rid of a lot of that luminescence noise but it does make the photograph a little bit softer. So what we're doing here is a balance between sharpening and noise reduction. Uh, on this photo it's actually quite difficult to show you what the colour maybe in the dark area who might be able to see something. So again, let's reset my sharpening and reset my noise reduction. And if I push sharpening all the way up, uh, you can't really see it on here, but what you'll find if you start to see red, green, blue, cyan pixels in there appearing in here, and it's very, very common on low, um, low light photographs where you've had to push the ISO up that you get those little colored dots in there and the way to cure that is by pushing the color slider and that will get rid of any uh, color noise that you might have appearing in here so to quickly compare the two images between um, sharpening and clarity both pushed right the way up let me just select that other image and we'll do a compare uh, wrong one. Let's go back to the library module and we'll compare those. So you can see on here, uh, while it's still loading. So on the left, we've got where we've sharpened, and on the right is where we've got clarity. If I zoom out, uh, you can you can see that the one on the right looks a little bit sharper compared to the one on the left but you've got more control when you're just doing sharpening than when you do clarity. And, and again, clarity only affects mid-tones. So if you've got dark features in there or you've got light features in there, then clarity is not going to touch those, in which case you would then need to use sharpening. Well, I hope you found that useful and uh, help you better appreciate the difference between the two. And, um, and that's where I'm going to leave that. Thank you for watching.